How are we doing guys and welcome to a new week. It is currently Monday evening. Uh, I'm just about to head out to my dad's for a bit of dinner because I can't be bothered to cook today but I'm not going to tell him that. I am heading up to London on Wednesday. I can't actually tell you why. It's quite an exciting thing that's happening in September, I believe. And then I am coming back on Thursday because I have got a festival, which is very, very, very exciting. I haven't been to a festival for years, so I'm absolutely buzzing. It is Thursday to Sunday. I'll put a picture of all the people that are going, but I might talk about it a bit more tomorrow because so I actually need to do quite a big shop for the festival, just bits and bobs and lots of alcohol. That is another reason that I'm going to my dad's actually because he's got my old tent, so I need to see what state it is in because it could be an utter mess. I can't even think of the last time that I used it. It must have been a festival about five years ago, so yeah. So I'll catch you probably tomorrow when we're going shopping for festival gear. Good morning, it is about 10 o'clock on Tuesday and I am just about to head out because I've got a, I've got a couple of uh, errands to do. I, but I've just received a very cool package from a company called Sporty and Rich. So they have teamed up with Adidas to create a couple of pieces and they've sent me across a t-shirt and a pair of shoes. So the t-shirt is just a lovely light blue color. Yeah, it's kind of got that vintage sportswear vibe, which is really, really cool. So as you can see, it's got the Sportium Rich and the Adidas logo. It is an XL, but it's supposed to be quite small and tight, which is very cool. And the trainers that they sent are another, obviously another collaboration with Adidas. Some would say summer trainer of this year. It is a very nice pair of sambas, which I am really excited to style and wear. They match the t-shirt, which is very cool. Obviously, I'm guessing that's why they sent it, but just everything about these is beautiful. I have kind of wanted a pair of sambas, but never really wanted to commit to a pair. I didn't know if they were gonna stick around in style or anything, but yeah, obviously very grateful to be sent these. Just noticed, look at that little, detailing there i guess i keep that on actually it's quite a cool little piece and what do you think blue laces or keep the creamy white ones i'm gonna say keep the white ones because i hate relacing trainers so yeah definitely keep the white ones hello you lovely people i did some shopping for the festival that i'm going to so i'll show you what i picked up as my festival essentials but I might as well actually tell you about the festival. It's a festival based where I live on the Isle of Wight. So it's called the Isle of Wight Festival. And it's a sort of four day festival. You've got Thursday evening, then Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And the weather looks fucking amazing this weekend. It's gonna be so hot. I did buy sun cream, which is good. But the lineup this year is pretty cool. It's not my favorite it's ever been. I'll put a picture up somewhere. Headline in Friday, we have Pulp. Then on Saturday, George Ezra and the Chemical Brothers. And then Sunday is Robbie Williams, which will be quite cool. So I'm just gonna list off some of the other names. We have the Cortinas, One Republic, Sugar Babes, The Human League, Endubs, Anne-Marie, Sam Ryder, Scout for Girls, James Bay, Mika, Ella Henderson, Example, The Raytons, who I'm the most excited about. Absolutely love them, and I think their songs are just perfect for a festival, so. They're the ones I'm actually looking forward to the most. And then there's a load of other people, but I don't particularly know who they are, slash I'm useless with names. So we'll probably recognize half their songs, but not actually know their name. So that should be really, really fun. And I am very much looking forward to it. I haven't been to a festival for a long, long time now, like five years, and I just love it. I, I don't know what more you can want, really. You're just, it's normally lovely, sunny weather, in a field with all your mates, drinking, with good music playing. Like, it's just happy times, it really is. That's all it is to me. So yeah, I'm very, very excited. But I will show you now the stuff that I've just picked up to take. So as I said, I got sun cream, Factor 50, 
I'm gonna need it. It's so, so sunny that I really don't wanna burn. Then I have some baby wipes. They're just an absolute must at a festival because they just can help out with so many situations. I'm not gonna go into details about all of them, but yeah, they're so, so handy. I only ended up buying like one bag of Doritos for snacks, which is a mistake, but I'll probably be coming home and going back during some of the days. So I'll be able to pick up more snacks then. Chewing gum, just, because I want fresh breath, I guess. I don't want stinky breath all day. Then I picked up loads of drinks. First of all, I picked up two bottles of peach iced tea. I'm thinking that I'm gonna mix this with some sort of spirit that I have. I'm pretty sure I've got some Southern Comfort, which I'm thinking will go really well with this. So that's gonna be one of my drinks of choice. I also picked up some Brewdog. This one is the Lost Lager, which I think I've had before and it was quite nice. But yeah, 10 cans of this. We'll see how I get through these. I'm probably gonna have to buy some more, potentially, depends how much I drink. And then as well as the Brewdog beer, I've also got some Copperberg pear cider because cider and a festival just go together hand in hand, which is what I want, which is what everyone wants. Well, not everyone if you don't drink, but yeah. And then I got some water, lots of water, because I'm gonna need this. And that's heavy, so I'm not gonna hold it up. That is all the stuff I bought. If I've missed anything, let me know. It'll be too late, but I'll learn for next year. The only thing about having all that liquid and all those things is it's fucking heavy to carry in. I might do it in trips. I think I'm camping. I've got a tent down here, which I haven't opened since the last festival, so that'll be interesting to see what state it's in. And then I will come home, because it's, it's quite close, I will be end up coming home probably most of the days to have a shower and sort of something to eat, and then make myself pretty again, because I'll be a state in the mornings, and that is something that no one wants to see. That is what I'll be doing once I get back from London tomorrow. So as I, I think I briefly said, I've got to go up to London for a meeting tomorrow at 10 o'clock, so I'm gonna head up there this evening stay at my brother's, go to the meeting, and then as soon as the meeting's done, I'm traveling back down and going to the festival. So it's gonna be a long couple of days over the weekend. I'm probably gonna be knackered, but it's gonna be completely worth it. So yeah, very exciting. I can't actually tell you guys what I'm going up to London for. It's sort of a secret project at the moment, but it is all gonna be happening in September, hopefully. So I'm sure I'll be able to sort of let you guys know and give you a bit more details closer to the time. But until then, it's a secret. So I've also received a couple of parcels, which I'm gonna show you guys before I head up to London. So the first one is another goodie bag from All Saints. I don't know why they're sending so much, but they obviously like sending me stuff. So yeah, I've got another little goodie bag. I don't know what's in it yet. I haven't looked at all. So we're gonna go through it together. Nice little handwritten note. I always love that. So the first little box got a white and black pair of boxers, which is always handy. We have got another hat from them. This time it is in a sort of khaki brownie color, which you can't really see on camera, but actually you can. Then we also have a belt, which has All Saints written there, which will be my back, I guess. Not sure if I'm that keen on the print, but it might look quite cool with a pair of black jeans with All Saints across my ass, I guess. And then we have a gray sweatshirt, which is actually really nice. So it's a gray one with the same print as the shirt that they sent me last week. So a big thank you to All Saints for sending that stuff out. So the next package is from a company called P & Co. I sort of reached out to them on Instagram and sort of said, do you wanna, do you fancy working together or sort of just doing a little gifting thing? And they actually came back and said yes. So sent me a few pieces that I picked out. So the first one is this really cool blue sort of thick cotton shirt. Um, it kind of gives me trucker gas stop station vibes. You can see from the material, it's sort of that thicker cotton blend. I think this will look really, really cool. But yeah, that's a very, very cool piece. Excited to start that one. Then we have this heavyweight t-shirt, which has the text Heartbreak Hotel on the front and then some cool graphics on the back as well. The reason that I picked that t-shirt out was because they had this really cool cap that is a matching 
heartbreak hotel the red obviously goes with the white of the t-shirt and the red writing from the pictures this hat just looked so so cool it is quite tight and so it's lucky i have a small head but yeah i actually really like this style of hat it's yeah i, I i'm i'm really just looking for loads of hats at the moment to see what one suits me but this one is really cool it's sort of got that vintagey vibe to it i am quite liking it so I think it will go really well with the t-shirt, obviously. Yeah, so the full outfit is probably gonna be this with a blue pair of jeans, actually. I think that will go really, really well. So that's what I received over the last couple of days. Off topic, but the bags under my eyes are just awful at the moment. Awful, don't know what to do about it. But anyway, I probably won't film much in London. I might film a bit of the travel, but that's about it because I can't, again, I can't show you guys what I'm actually doing. It's a flying visit, so you're not gonna miss much. So anyway, I will catch you guys in a bit. That is my lovely tent for the next couple of days. night at the festival it was a really really it was a really really good evening oh sorry for the audio by the way i'm filming this on my phone but it was a really really good evening apart from one thing and that is i have not slept at all i for some reason thought it was going to be really hot during the night and didn't take a sleeping bag and didn't take any warm clothes and it was fucking freezing so i was just laying in a cold damp tent in shorts and a shirt just shivering and freeze and absolutely freezing so i didn't sleep a single minute last night so i'm wilting right now i'm struggling but the lucas aid sport on the go to try and give me a bit of energy so it doesn't happen again i've just picked up my sleeping bag my air mattress and my inflatable pillow from my dad's house so i should sleep better tonight but i am struggling bad yeah, anyway, let's go to the festival game.